Are those hay bales? What kind of a man could throw bales around like this with the temperature at 100 degrees in the shade? Wouldn't you give your eye teeth to hire a fellow who could do that all day? Sure you would. But why not do it yourself with this new bale ejector attachment for the 14T twine tie baler, which tosses the bales into wagons automatically? It's the backbone of a revolutionary new one-man way of making hay. The companion unit in this system of handling hay is a brand new elevator and barn conveyor. This is automation in the hay field. Every farmer who grows hay will make more money with this simple, efficient bale ejector. You'll save time, get better hay, eliminate back-breaking labor. Next year, thousands of farmers will be saying, Remember when we had to pick up bales by hand? Remember the heat, the dust, the aches and pains of making hay the old-fashioned way? The new bale ejector will pay for itself in a short time with money saved and hired help. It makes compact bales approximately one-half size. When the wagon is out of position on corners, you simply pull a rope control, release it, and presto, two bales go into the wagon at once. Let's take a look at how simple the new bale ejector attachment really is. It mounts directly on the rear of the 14T baler only. It's an exclusive John Deere development that eliminates at least 50% of the manpower required with ordinary balers. Power is taken directly from the tractor's power takeoff through this extended shaft. Any tractor capable of handling this baler alone will have power aplenty with the bale ejector attachment as well. To show you how the ejector works, let's remove this shield and one side of the bale chute screen. Power is transmitted from the power shaft through these enclosed gears to a roller chain drive and this constant running clutch. As each bale moves up the chute, it trips this lever, activating linkage, which in turn throws this dog into the constant running clutch, supplying power to this bell crank, which transmits the power to eject the bales. These ejector arms grip the bale as it is delivered from the bale case into the bale chute and tosses it into the wagon. To illustrate, let's eject the bale now in the bale chute with the rope control. Watch the action of the clutch, bell crank, and ejector arms. Whoops, there it goes. Once more, without the bale. Simple, isn't it? The revolutionary new bale ejector and the outstanding 14T twine tie baler make a cost-cutting team for every hay grower, large or small. Summing it up, the new bale ejector eliminates men on the trailer behind the baler, pickup men, and bale loading machines. It saves valuable time when time is money. It means better hay in the barn. Bales are never left in the field to lose feed value. The other half of John Deere's one-man hay baling system is the new elevator and barn conveyor for storing bales automatically. No more back-breaking lifting and stacking. No more working and stifling hot mouths. Bales are fed into this big eight-foot hopper designed for use with any John Deere bale-sized portable elevator. This hold-down guide keeps bales moving up the elevator smoothly. Here's the only time you touch the bales until they're fed to your cattle. Because they're half size, you can handle them with a pitchfork. Here's a demonstration showing what goes on inside the barn. The new barn conveyor distributes bales through the full length of the mow. The conveyor is hung from the hay track or ridge pole in sections to fit your barn. By simply crossing the guide rails, you can distribute bales at 10-foot intervals in the barn to the left or to the right side of the barn. Short bales require no stacking. They tumble automatically into place. In addition to the 14T, there are two new, larger balers, the 214W wire tie and the 214T twine tie balers. 
These balers follow the design of the famous 14T, but they make heavier, more dense bales, bales that weigh up to 80 pounds. You can make your bales in any length up to 50 inches. The new 214T twine tie baler meets all requirements for many farmers who desire big, dense twine bales. It's a big brother to the 14T with all of the features that make the 14T the outstanding baler in its field. Twine is supplied from a big capacity box to these precision knotters. Accurate tying makes knots like these that stay tied. Groovers in the bale case form grooves in the bale where twine snuggles in, protecting it from snagging and slipping off the bale. This solid square cornered bale is yours with the new 214T twine tie baler. For those who prefer or require wire tied bales, here's the new 214W baler. It's ideal for commercial hay growers and for those of you who stack your bales in the field. Bales made with the 214W stand up to weather and arrive at the market in top condition. Wire is fed from these two big capacity wire boxes to this efficient tying mechanism. You're assured of dependable knotting bale after bale. Simple adjustments assure just the kind of bale you want. It will handle, stack and feed better Sell quicker, bringing more money. For wire-tied bales, the new 214W is the baler for you. But the biggest baling news is this exclusive one-man baling system. Include a 14T baler with bale ejector and this new elevator with barn conveyor in your plans for 1958. <laughs>